Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's um, been a while since I've done a video. Kind of excited to do this one. Um, I was here testing some latex, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and I thought, what happens if I run out of latex? And I have these balloons on the side. And I want to know how well they will uh, work on my slingshot. Um, they're thicker down the closed end. So I'm going to put that end on the um, on the frame and the open end I'm going to cut the X amount off to make my bands. I had a little play about and if I hold it at about my active length, give it a stretch, it's pretty much there. So I'm just going to try and cut them as rough as I can, or as accurate as I can roughly. Um, 15 centimeters plus one for the pouch plus one for the attachment of the frame so 17 centimeters minus a little bit just because I don't think they need to be that long that'll do Awesome. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you call them, party balloons, sculpting balloons. It's those ones that they use to make animals out of, shapes out of. wonder if you could use them to, uh, to put food on the table. That'll be for another video anyway. But, um, right, let's go and tie these up. Right then, guys, tying these bands up exactly the same as I would any other slingshot band. Um... I'm wondering if these will last really long, like um, tubes, or if they're really shit and they won't last any time at all. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to keep this video running while I tie them all up. I'll get it done. And uh, we'll run them through the chronograph with some 7 mils and some 8 mils, see what we got. And then take them outside and see how they perform on um, on some targets. See if we can be accurate and consistent with them. Um, just a bit of fun while I'm testing other elastic. The other elastic that I've been testing is a 0.5. I don't normally shoot 0.5. So, three, four, five, six, seven. But I cut in my normal 2012, put an 8mm steel through it, short draw, 300 feet per second, um, or 2 feet off it, but well impressed. So I've cut some 1410 to see what it can do with 7mm steels. That's what I'm testing today. This was just a mad idea while I was cutting those bands, and I thought, you know what, I'm taking time out to have a laugh. Anyway guys, that's one side done trim it off. It's looking pretty cool. Nothing wrong with that guys. <laughs> I'll get the other side tied up and I'll get back to uh, when we're shooting. Yo guys, got the chronograph set up. Gonna do a real quick chronograph test. I'm not gonna bother shooting eight mil with these um, balloon bands that I done. Um, it's gonna be a bit of fun shooting them out in the garden but it ain't gonna be fast. 55.8 meters a second times r by three and a bit super slow we're not even getting anywhere near 200 feet per second with them but this is what i'm excited now i was excited to do the video for this but these bands are what i'm excited about guys this is 1410 um taper shooting eight mil steel 75.4 meters a second i'll see what that is in feet per second when i upload the video 74.3 let's move on to seven mil seals i was getting 300 feet per second um with 2012 when it was almost maxed out archie move here he's going outside that's right get out right then seven mil steels with just my normal anchor point 84.6 meters a second i'll update to what it is in feet per second when i upload the video 
84.3 but this is what I'm interested to see right for you long draw shooters what would this do if I maxed it out um for a full butterfly you'd need more latex because this is only a short active length but we'll give it that extra stretch 101.4 105.6 give it that extra little bit that time this latex is awesome 103.8 that's enough i want to go and shoot the um the balloons this as well though this is epic anyway guys catch you in a minute right then we got the range set up guys and i got this here am i expecting much after those chronograph tests nope the biggest target i've put in the catch box is a 40 mil i feel i could do with an 80 mil for this um to get to the catch box <laughs> going for the 40 mil oh wow what a lot of drop um that was a huge arc just to get 10 meters a bit better on the up and down um question was oh there it is would balloons get me out of a situation where i haven't got latex yes they would could I put food on the table with them? Certainly not. Um, if you just want to shoot some targets and you've got nothing else. They drop about 5 inches over 10 metres. But it'll work. Oh! Smash the 25! I can't believe it. Let's see if we can do that again. No, miles away. One more at that 40 mil. Missed. Well, that was a bit of fun. I'm not going to let this video drag on. There you ain't nothing special. I'm just going to have a couple of shots for this. This latex you've seen on those chronograph results is awesome. The, um, the draw on this, the weight. It's a little bit heavier than most other 0.5 I've used. But cut 1410, it's plenty light enough for an easy draw, but still blistering fast. Um, 1410, I reckon I could take game easily with this, with an 8mm steel, if I wanted to, ooh, a little bit high, if I wanted to shoot semi butterfly, I could probably cut them down so they're maxed out. still fast enough i'm not going to keep this video running guys it's only going to be short and sweet messing about with those other bands um will it work yeah bit of fun give it a go to be honest i could cut these down and um, get a lot more power out of them again there's my draw and like they'll come back there but i can feel them stretching and not returning quite back to their original length so they're not going to last they're going to get weaker and weaker the more you stretch them this stuff guys I will do a video on just this at some point um, maybe in a week maybe in a month I don't know but this is gonna be worth a video of its own absolutely awesome I got a feeling we'll be seeing a lot of this stuff I'll let you know what it is soon take it easy guys get out there shoot your slingshots